Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on HashMap Performance Improvement in Java 8. If you want to understand exactly how Java HashMap works internally, just go through my earlier uploaded video on how HashMap works internally. In this session, I will focus on what are the performance improvement done in Java 8. As we know that whenever you create a hash map, it is going to create by default 16 buckets and the default load factory 0.75 which is a good trade between the space and time complexities. So in order to improve the performance of the uh, hash map, first, need to, first you need to do is strong, you need to choose the strongest hashing code algorithm in such a way that for the each element, whatever you are going to add it to the hash map, it should result into a distinct or the unique bucket. So let us consider you have a hash map with the four buckets and if your hash code result into one, two, three, four, five, six, then you will get the index or the bucket position as zero. That means it is going to store in the first bucket. As long as your um, hash code algorithm is strong, then you, were, you are going to, uh, that means basically you are distributing the elements in hash map uniquely for the each bucket sometimes what happens is due to the now let us consider a one scenario here now you have the strongest uh, um hash code algorithm that is the reason here in the hash map i have uh, four buckets and as you have the strong hashing code algorithm that is the reason each element or entry is going into the particular bucket so in this case whatever the operations you perform on the Mm, hash map whether it is a get or get or put then it is the complexity is going to be order of one but somehow if you are unable to create hash code algorithm strong then what happens is whenever you are adding an elements to the hash map then automatically uh, more than one element or one key will have the resulting into the same hash code that is the reason what happens is each bucket will be fall, uh, contains more than one element or the entry so why we are calling as a entry? Entry is contains the both the key and value. So the whenever you you are having a duplicate hash code, that means duplicate hash code, then same bucket will be formed in the form of the linked list, and each linked list will have the node like a key and value that is called as a entry. So in this particular bucket one, you have the uh, three entries that is entry one, entry two, entry three and entry 1 again will have the key value, entry 2 will have the key and value and entry 3 will have the key and value. Similarly, bucket it has dispersed the two key uh, two entries and in the bucket you have only one and bucket 4 1. Now for example, if I want to retrieve an entry from this particular bucket, then it may be order of complexity is going to be order of 3, order of 2 and here order of 1 and order of 1. Similarly, whenever you are trying to put an element to the the same with the same hash code then in this case in this case cost is going to be order of four because already three elements are already there so fourth element it has to come so that is the reason this is the older implementation of the existing uh, like a java 7 or this is how the hash map is implemented but in the java 8 the implementation is got changed that means what the implementation it is instead of maintaining the um, entries or the bug entries which are having the same hash code in the linker list in instead of that it come up with the concept of a, a concept of a balanced trees so now when this uh, when the uh, the first point is when a linker list will will be converted to the balanced tree so that is the first point we need to focus on the point here is that there in the java 8 we have three um, parameters it got introduced one is tree pi um, tree pi threshold this is 8 that means if any in in your hash map if any bucket having eight or more elements with the same hash code or entries with the same hash code then automatically the implementation is changed from the linker list to the balanced tree now how balanced tree is going to work out we are going to see little um, in a while and let now let us focus on the second parameter is you uh, you need tree five threshold that means now let us consider your bucket having eight or more entries then then the implementation is going to be changed from the 
linked list to the tree. Now, for example, the elements automatically it is decreasing from the eight to seven, seven to six, seven to six to five like that. Is it is reducing its um, um, its elements in a particular bucket? Then this is the property. It will says when it has to convert from the balance tree to the again back to the linked list. So second parameter is basically tells when balance tree will become again the linked list. First one parameter is going to specify when linked list becomes balance tree, and second parameter is when it has to come uh, change from balance tree to linked list. And third parameter is going to specify mi minimum tree file capacity. What it means is, for example, you are going to create you created a hash map, then by default 16 buckets is there. Out of 16 bucket, you have a one bucket with the uh, let us consider eight um, eight uh, entries are there. In that case, what happens is it should not go and again change the uh, implementation to the balance tree. That is the reason the minimum capacity to convert from the linked list to balance tree is your hash map minimum. It should have the 16 buckets and and at least one of the bucket should have elements more than that means uh, lm uh, entries more than eight then only the implementation is going to change from linked list to uh, balance tree so that is the this parameter by using these three parameters now hash map will convert the linked list implementation to the balance tree and similarly tree implementation to the linked list okay so if you see here in Java 8, hash map elements use balance trees instead of linked list under certain uh, certain certain instances. That is, the implementation of the hash map in Java 8 tries to mitigate this by organizing some buckets into trees rather than the linked list if the bucket buckets become too large. So tree five threshold eight is the for if the bucket contains more than eight elements, then it should become a tree and similarly when it is string string shrink to the uh, size of six then automatically it will convert from the um, balance trees to the linked list now if you see the overall um, performance of the uh, hash map the best case is if you have the strong hash code algorithm then put and uh, putting put and get both operation will have under of one and second one is if we are not using the uh, trees with the older like a bucket concept where we have the link list then most case is going to be the order of n for both the put and get let us consider n is the number of element uh, number of keys in the hash map and the worst scenario for the if you are using the balanced tree model in the java 8 then the worst in a, the worst case uh, uh, complexity is going to be order of log n where n is the number of keys in the hash map. Hope you are clear with how um, hash map uh, works internally or improvements in Java 8. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.